More than 100,000 children were sent to the UK from the UK to Australia with the promise of a better standard of living and a good education. But the reality has in many cases been kept a painful secret until now. An exhibition at the National Maritime Museum tells the story of child migration through the voices of the children themselves. Jane Margetts reports. Barely old enough to tie his shoelaces, Stuart Lee boarded a ship bound for the other side of the world. Fifty-five years later, as the cover story of this exhibition, the Burley security guard was reduced to tears as he remembered his arrival at Fairbridge Farm School in New South Wales. It was like walking into a concentration camp when we hit Fairbridge. He and his three brothers were among thousands of British children sent to Australia with the promise of a better life. Australia is getting more and more welcome migrants. There was public thrashings, sexual assaults, mental abuse, all that sort of stuff. Stuart Lee was institutionalised at Fairbridge for 13 years. Today he still can't shake the sadness of his childhood. I'm just a loner, basically. You'll never get over it. No kid will. Robert Stevens was sent to Fairbridge when he was eight, but his tragedy unfolded years later when he began searching for his family. Fairbridge refused to tell him who his father was, and in 2005, after searching for 40 years, he discovered he'd recently died as a tramp on the streets of Bournemouth. Had I had the information in the 1960s when I started looking for him, I would have found him and he wouldn't have had the tragic life that he had. For that, he holds Fairbridge responsible. At the end of the day, we found him. We knew who he, who he was, his circumstances, but not a very nice way to find your father after 40 years of, of looking. I show our courage and so restrain our fear. Each child migrant has a different legacy, but common to all of them is the camaraderie they shared, both then and now. Jane Margetts, ABC News.